Hey guys, what's up? Matt here and welcome to another episode of Just The Tip. Today, what I'm gonna be going over is how you turn a deposit into a sale. A deposit is not a sale, so how do we do it quickly? And there are two methods that I'm gonna go over. Method number one for turning a deposit into a sale is one that I like to use. It actually works a lot of the time, okay? The way that I do it is I take the deposit, take it over the phone, okay, $500 down, yada, yada, yada. I go, okay, man, like, how does it feel? So good? You know, I'm taking, taking that first step, actually starting to take action, get some momentum, and really starting to move forward in your goal. How, do, how does it feel, dude? Because it's a, it's a great thing. And they go, yeah, it feels great, feels good. I go, all right, man, so like, let's just go. Like you've, you've, made, you've made the hard choice now, right? Like we're starting to move forward. The first step is literally the hardest. Let's just go all in, brother, let's do it. Like, let's take the rest of it, let's just go. Like, what are we waiting for? You wanna do it? Come on, let's go. You got it, dude, come on, let's do it. <laughs> Boom, right, get a little bit excited, make some humor. You know what I mean? Sometimes we go like, Jerry, Jerry, chant the name a little bit, whatever. Like, there's just some fun stuff, do you know what I mean? And they go, ah, all right, let's do it. But that works far more often than what you might think. Method number two is if it's like, the deposit is like, because they purely just don't have the cash, they really want to do it, they're just, they need to find it. So I go, take, like, take the money, take the deposit, and then go, all right, all right, two, man, two things, man. So you've got like, you've got like, what are your liabilities and what are your assets? Right, so let's have a look. Like, let's actually have a look at like cash on hand. Like, how can we set up the next payment? What are some things that we can do between now and you getting started in order to expedite this for you? Okay, can we have a look at leveraging debt? Are there any credit cards that you have? Do you have stuff like a PlayStation 5 that you don't play anymore? Do you have a car that you never drive anymore because like you're working from home so you don't need to go many places? Like, do you have a motorcycle you don't drive? Do you have some bikes in the garage? Do you have stuff that you can sell that's not producing, that's not productive in your life, not, not giving you any value, but you can sell it, right? Can you get a title loan on your car? All these kinds of stuff, right? We try and avoid the debt. We try and go for just selling crap that you don't really use in, in your day to day. Most people, if they look around, they can find you know, two, three, four thousand dollars worth of crap that they just don't use and they can sell it on Gumtree and they can sell it on Facebook Marketplace, whatever it might be, and they can make some money and they can put that towards their education. So those are my two methodologies that are gonna make it much easier for you to turn a deposit into a sale. All right guys, bye.